Can you tell us a li- uh, some things about yourself and your studies? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, my name is Valla Tomla. I'm uh, Estonian. I was born in Estonia and I've been uh, living all my life in Estonia. And um, I'm from a small town. It's uh, called Rakovere. Uh, there are living uh, 20,000 people. And then when I was 19, then I I moved to Tartu. It's the second uh, biggest city in Estonia. It, it's kind of university city. Uh, I went to Tartu University to study theology. And I was there. <coughs> and I was uh, studying uh, theology for six years. Uh, I wasn't a very good student, but uh, and I didn't uh, finish my studies. <laughs> Uh, but at the same time, I was in uh, love with the theater, and I did some uh, acting. And uh, uh, we also came to France to festivals with our performances for two times, and then traveled around the world. So it, it was kind of um, parallel universe for me, yeah. always um, connected with art and, and the theater. And I wasn't thinking about cinema for a long time, but then. Um, Mm, uh, there was a, co- uh, let's say, uh, a friend who uh, who also studied theology, but he went to film school, and he started to make the short films, and he uh, asked me uh, to participate in his uh, films uh, as an actor, and then then somehow I started to think that maybe uh, not theater but film. And then uh, I, I changed my way, and then I went to Tallinn, which is the capital of Estonia, to study in Baltic Film and Media School. I studied there uh, for four years. Then I finished the school and um, did some uh, short films. After school, I made one um, puppet animation. It was my first professional uh, work that I already started during. Uh, During the school, or the, during the last year, and also one uh, short film, and after that, I was already offered this feature film, Pretenders, and uh, from the reading the script until the premiere, it was three years altogether. Right. Yeah. Uh, we noticed yesterday mm-hmm. while we were watching your film that you used many frames of the window of the bedroom. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you explain this, maybe? Okay. Um, mm-hmm. uh, well, it's kind of um, the idea came because of the set at first. It wasn't in the script. And just uh, in this building, there was this window, and I thought that it, it would be good to use it. Uh, because anyway, there, uh, at first, I just had an uh, image to use it like once. Uh, when Eric comes to the window with the axe, and it's, there is a kind of little horror funny moment. <laughs> uh, but then I started to think that maybe, maybe I can uh, use it somehow to structure the film. It's like um, uh, this square, it's like, there are like four, <laughs> four and then and also this window divides the film to, into four pieces. And also I was using uh, in the beginning of film uh, uh, one cantat uh, of Bach that has also structure of like four and, and somehow uh, I think about structure and things like that and uh, g- geometry and and, uh, and also for me the first image of the film is, is very important because somehow it uh, it um, gives some kind of sensation uh, what kind of film it will be uh, and uh, for me this uh, film is somehow connected maybe with, with um, kind of abstract ideas and even maybe abstract expressionism uh, and also it's minimalistic uh, so this just this window this square is kind of minimalistic and abstract image that uh, connects uh, two worlds it's like inside and outside uh, uh, and uh, the film deal is very much about inner life Uh, that is 
connected with society. At the same time, it's, it's, uh, it's about conscious and unconscious mind. Uh, and there are a lot of uh, mirrors and it's kind of indoors and then it's always like some kind of going through uh, windows, doors, reflections, and somehow, yeah, and glasses, and so somehow it it felt right and uh, and I used it, uh, yes, just to structure the film and, and to, to make it um, and to, to prepare uh, to pre prepare the last image of the window also. Uh, yes, you said about the mirrors and the inner self and the outside mm -hmm. world. And that would be my next question mm -hmm. because it was very interesting the fact that at the end of the movie we had a conventional relationship between two people mm -hmm. and the fact that all of them may be an illusion mm -hmm. and nothing happened. Mm -hmm. Uh, can you explain the difference between these two contrasts? Mm -hmm. uh, well, yes, it's a kind of paradox uh, because, um, uh, yes, they say that nothing happened, but at the same time we saw that something happened. <laughs> and for them, uh, even if they say or they start to live on with the idea that nothing happened, it was an illusion or hallucination, whatever it was, it, it's not... Uh, mind it anymore or it's still they have this experience under the skin and they have to live on with it uh, so for them it's it's uh, something they have to carry on in their uh, relationship and, and and I think that uh, with the end of the film there is it's, it's a sign that they stay together even if they live on in a kind of denial or uh, uh, but they have to they're like um, meant to be coupled because if they separate, then they, maybe they might go crazy because of this experience. So it's again a kind of uh, mm, paradox inside them and for the, for the viewer also, because uh, uh, we understand that it's the, the thing that happened is not very logical, but at the same time, it, somehow it makes sense. <laughs> how to deal with it in my mind, in my, with my feelings. So, uh, and I think it's, this confusion is, is very good because so, it... Uh, it's between them there is an agreement? Actually. Yeah, 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 it's an agreement, exactly. It's like, uh, uh, there is also again, this, even for me, a kind of symbolism of, of, of marriage uh, by the beach, <laughs> in, this, in this, with their costumes and, and uh, uh, the, the things that they, they are talking about. So um, uh, it is definitely an agreement, isn't? But I don't think that it's certainly a, a kind of happy agreement. But again, it's a question: is happiness, yeah. as it is, uh, a kind of thing that we have to? Is it the main thing in life? I'm not so sure about it. So, can you tell us anything about uh, your next project? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, well, uh, right now, uh, I have just something in my mind, and I want to experiment to to write uh, my own script, and uh, I have a kind of idea uh, that I will start to work with really soon. To, I have a plan to write, start to write in February. <laughs> uh, it's kind of um, I don't know where it leads to and if it's going to be a movie one day or not. But it's uh, it's again the kind of a thriller, uh, a kind of psycho thriller, a kind of mystery. But compared to Pretenders, it's maybe it's a bit it's it's there is more dark humor and and it's maybe a bit more grotesque. Uh, and yeah, I think it's it's going to be more grotesque with more uh, with more, more black humor, uh, but it's again connected with disappearance and 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 uh, a relationship between men and uh, women, but they're a, a bit older than Anna and Johan, even mm. much older. So, uh, could you say that you are inspired from the inner self of someone? and his uh, psychology, I don't know. Yeah, of course, it's interesting. Yes, of course. It's like, uh, because... Um, 
at, at least I think so that uh, why we're making films or, 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 or art or, or we, if we have this passion for creativity uh, then uh, it's very much about dealing with yourself your inner feelings and, and your images and uh, uh, with connection with other people and those also with the connections of unknown mm, uh, so it's 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 kind of like drawing a map, in a way, if you're making films or uh, uh, drawing a painting, painting or um, it, it's it's uh, mm, yeah. I would say that it's like uh, drawing a map, and if you have the map is ready, then you can learn about something about yourself. So the first thing is is you you yourself, and then start to become the audience and viewers and, and, and uh, but of course it's just not about to show your ego but uh, mm. but it's connection with other people but still the first thing is uh, you yourself inspiring your own inner life <laughs> Images came out when you were in the scenery and you saw how and you said, okay, we will have this scene or mm -hmm. by the sea or the lake. I don't know if it's sea or lake. Is uh, it typical Estonian? Uh, um, it's like so-so. It's um, well. Uh, mm, I have to remind it how how it was exactly, but okay, uh, it was like that. That yes. Uh, At first, there was just imagination when we were talking with uh, DOP and and, and uh, art designer, and just uh, we made some kind of uh, kind of storyboard, the director script, at yeah. first, and then when, uh, uh, but we uh, didn't have the house yet, so it was kind of just an Im imagination. But then when we went on the set, then it's okay. Let's make this in here, this in here. Let's shoot it that way, that way, that way. But uh, uh, when we were already shooting. Then we shot this film only with 20 days, so, yeah. so uh, we didn't have much time to improvise or to change uh, totally something. So uh, I had to shoot uh, 15 shots, sometimes even 20, 25 shots per day. So we had to be really rapid, really fast, and, and uh, it was very much about uh, pre-work. And also the changing of the light with the clouds, it was something that was designed before. Sorry? The the light with the clouds. There were some scenes that the, yeah. the light was in and out very fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was. Uh, yeah, yeah. This was. You want to do yeah, it. yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is of course. And uh, but of course uh, there are, there were some things that changed in the editing room uh, because it's always like that. That 100 uh, percent you don't don't succeed, especially when you when you have to be really fast. I did cut out some scenes totally and, and also changed some uh, things in the story, but uh, but uh, it's okay. <laughs> and also I, we couldn't even uh, shoot one scene because of the weather. But in the editing room we found a solution. So one last question, uh, which is, was supposed to be like the second, but I was still yeah. thinking of it. <laughs> uh, you said you st you started studying theology, yeah. right? Yeah. And then you decided to change yeah. and uh, occupy with uh, filming. Yes, with yeah, filming. Yeah. So how is it? Because these these two sections are like they don't have <laughs> many <laughs> comments. <laughs> so yeah, how easy was it for you to take a total different path, like? change mm. your decision and well it's so so it's bec because one thing is that just that uh, i was uh, part of a the theater group and the theater and film in a way are not so separated uh, but uh, but still uh, like when you're making a film then you are making film about something about people about the world about the connection between uh, people and the world surrounding them and uh, theology and philosophy, uh, it's, it's the same thing. It's also dealing with, with people and with the surroundings, with the ideas uh, that, that we have 
about God, for example. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it, it, everything, it's, it's, it's helped me, I think, and it's still helping me. Mm. Uh, the film is always about something, and, and these studies uh, just help me to think about uh, things. And, and making a filmmaker, being a filmmaker, it's also being a, sometimes not just a filmmaker, but also uh, it's a bit also being a philosopher or uh, being a priest sometimes. It depends yeah. what kind of position you take. Nice. Yeah. Your character as a spirit mark. Yeah. Very yeah. enigmatic. Can you explain it? Explain it to Okay. Uh, well, as uh, like I said, there are some things that change in editing room. <laughs> uh, in the script, it wasn't exactly this way uh, as it is now in the film. Uh, but um, what, it, what, it, uh, what I tried uh, making this film with the cigarette mark, this, you mean this, uh, uh, in, in the, when the, you, after that Johan wakes up, you mean the, uh, this moment to explain this? Yes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's like, um, well, the idea for me is that uh, we as a human beings or people, um, we we are creating a reality. It's not just that we are living in some kind of re uh, reality in a room and well, voila, here it is. Do it, live it. <laughs> uh, we are we are also creating it, creating with our ideas, feelings, fears, and those and so um, something that is non-existing even through your thoughts through your fears can become alive as, as this character as Strine and, and, uh, and uh, Eric who also in a way represent Johan and Anna. Uh, so if I, if I'm, not, I'm not sure if I'm clear enough but uh, the idea is that uh, you can create from fears something real and it's, it's a kind of dangerous thing uh, and in this case uh, this uh, through in a way dream came to reality yeah. and and uh, as it is in the end of the film Johan and Anna they, they even they don't know was it hallucination was it a dream or 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 what what was it what happened to us and then they there is agreement nothing happened but but for them still it happened so it's kind of link between this idea and this cigarette mark Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck.